so beta in the last video we talked about what is uh, the way to solve constraint optimization now i'm going to take a little forward from there and i'm going to talk about lagrange multiplier ab humne ek condition to last video lecture mein nikal li thi and what was that condition beta that we talked about we talked about that the slope of your constraint it should be equal to the slope of your um, the the you know the objective function that you're talking about the z variable hai na so z was a function of x and y so we what did we say we said that jo bhi ye z function hai whatever this z is its slope is f dash x by f dash y and this slope of this z function it should be equal to the slope of the constraint g dash x by g dash y this is what we did in the last lecture now let's continue from there right beta so this is the condition that we derived in the last video ab dekho main kya kar rahi hu yahan pe try to understand so we derived that f dash x by f dash y should be equal to g dash x by g dash y beta suppose i tell you that this is i just cross multiply ha huh? यहाँ पे इसको ले जाते हैं बस सो वॉट वी लाइक इट एफ डैश एक्स बाय जी डैश एक्स इज इक्वल टू एफ डैश वाई बाय जी डैश वाई बेटा सपोज आई टेल यू दैट दिस इज सम कॉन्स्टेंट लैमडा अभी क्या है लैमडा मत सम सुनो बस ये समझो कि ये जो रेशियो आ रहा है ना दिस इज इक्वल टू सम कॉन्स्टेंट लैमडा ये भी जो रेशियो है इट इज ऑल्सो इक्वल टू सम कॉन्स्टेंट लैमडा सो बेटा इफ आई नाउ जस्ट से दैट दिस एफ डैश एक्स By g dash x is some constant lambda. इसका क्या मतलब हो जाएगा That f dash x will be lambda times g dash x. Similarly, when I tell you, बेटा f dash y by g dash y is some constant lambda. इसका क्या मतलब है That f dash y will be lambda times g dash y. यही तो इसका मतलब है That this will go here and this will go here. है कि नहीं बेटा So what I am saying from here is that look, f dash x is lambda times g dash x and f dash y is lambda times g dash y acha let's say that this lambda is some number suppose let's say this lambda is 2 suppose iska kya matlab hai beta ki whenever suppose whatever will be g dash x f dash x will be 2 times g dash x if this lambda is suppose 3 suppose ye 2 nahi hai suppose this is 3 to iska kya matlab hai beta it says that whatever will be g dash x and g dash y f dash y and f dash x will be 3 times g dash x g dash y usko 3 se multiply karenge so beta what we are saying in this case we are saying that f dash x is going to be proportional directly proportional to g dash x jaise jaise ye g dash x badhega waise waise f dash x badhega it is proportional directly to g dash x similarly बेटा एफ डैश वाई इज डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू जी डैश वाई तो जैसे जैसे ये जी डैश वाई बढ़ेगा वैसे वैसे एफ डैश वाई भी बढ़ेगा सो दीज आर प्रपोर्शन सो वॉट कैन बी लैमडा लैमडा इज अ नंबर विच टेल्स अस दैट प्रपोर्शन दैट एज जी डैश एक्स विल इंक्रीज बाई वॉट प्रपोर्शन विल एफ डैश एक्स इंक्रीज बेटा नाउ आई विल जस्ट टेक दिस हियर So, ये मेरे को पता चल गया f dash x is lambda times g dash x. So, can I say f dash x minus lambda g dash x is zero? I can say that ना So, f dash x minus lambda g dash x is zero. ये clear हो गई बात बेटा Similarly, what did I derive? बेटा I derived f dash y is lambda times g dash y. So, I can take this here and I can say f dash y. माइनस लैमडा जी डैश वाई इज ऑल्सो जीरो तो बेटा ये दो मेरी दो नई इक्वेशन आ गई दैट एफ डैश एक्स माइनस लैमडा जी डैश एक्स इज जीरो एफ डैश वाई माइनस लैमडा जी डैश वाई इज जीरो अब थोड़ा सा हम आगे बात करते हैं आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट सेटिंग अप ऑफ द लेग्रांच हाउ डू वी सेट अप अ लेग्रांच इन ऑर्डर टू गो अड एंड सेट अप अ लेग्रांच बेटा यू हैव समथिंग विच इज नोन एज एन ऑब्जेक्टिव फंक्शन ये तो सेम ही है This is constrained optimization. So you have an objective function. हाँ बेटा, subject to a constraint. ये constraint है. 
So you have an objective function subject to a constraint. Now, but what we do is we are going to say set up a Lagrange. कैसे Lagrange set up करते हैं बहुत ध्यान से देखना है हमने. So, but we go ahead and we write down this objective function. Then we put a minus sign and we put lambda. This lambda is called as Lagrange multiplier. क्या बोलते हैं इस lambda को बेटा? Lagrange multiplier. Then we put this constraint g of x y. And we take this here. So, beta, if g of x y is equal to c, so g of x y minus c to zero ho gaya na? So we just write this constraint in this format here: g of x y minus c. Beta, this becomes my Lagrange. Dhyan se dekho Lagrange ko ek bari. Just look at the Lagrange. So what is my Lagrange? Beta, in Lagrange, you are going ahead and you are having your objective function. Minus lambda, lambda is your Lagrange multiplier, and then this constraint written in this format. ये clear हो गई बात? अब बेटा, what will you do? You have three variables here. You have one variable x, one variable y, and one variable lambda. And you will differentiate with respect to all the three variables x, y, and lambda. And differentiate करके जो भी answer आएगा, you will equate it to zero. Clear हुई? So, but when I will differentiate this with respect to x, so f dash x, यहाँ से f के respect में differentiate कर रहे हैं, so this will be f dash x. When I will, फिर ये minus lambda is a constant, constant. And but when I will differentiate this with respect to x, so I will get minus lambda g dash x. C is a constant, उसका differentiation will be zero. So I will get this. एक बार ध्यान से दोबारा देख लेते हैं. Let's have a look here again, बेटा. So my Lagrange that I have formulated, वो Lagrange है objective function minus lambda constraint. बेटा इसको मैं एक बारी open कर देती हूँ. ये हो जाएगा f x y minus lambda into g x y plus lambda into c. बेटा now I have to differentiate this equation. With respect to x, मुझे इसको x के respect में differentiate करना है. So when I differentiate this with respect to x, I will get f dash x. इसका differentiation with respect to x minus lambda. इसका differentiation with respect to x g dash x. इसका differentiation with respect to x zero equal to zero. Like that, if I differentiate this with respect to y, what will I get, beta? F dash y. Minus lambda g dash y plus zero equal to zero. But if I differentiate this with respect to lambda, if I differentiate this with respect to lambda, what will I get, beta? यहाँ पे तो कोई lambda नहीं है. ये lambda है. So lambda की differentiation will be one into this is a constant currently. क्योंकि सिर्फ lambda के respect पे differentiate कर रहे हैं ना. So x and y are constant. Plus lambda into c है ना, so lambda का differentiation is one into c equal to zero. So बेटे don't you see that this equation f dash x minus lambda g dash x ये equation तो यही है ना that I had written above. है कि नहीं है? Similarly बेटे do you see that this second equation f dash y minus lambda g dash y this is the second equation. And beta, do you see that when I just solve this, if I just take this on the other side, I will get g of x y is equal to c. So beta, ये तो सिर्फ constraint ही है. So that means whenever you will differentiate with respect to lambda, you will always get back the constraint. Is this clear to everyone? Okay, good beta. So you have got f dash x minus lambda g dash x equal to zero. F dash y minus lambda g dash y equal to zero. These are your equations as above. And then the third one that you have got is just a constraint. But if I just combine, अगर मैं थोड़ा सा और इसको, if I just try to solve one and two, तो इससे ना बहुत अच्छी एक एनालिसिस निकलती है. But from one I will know f dash x will be lambda times g dash x. If I just take this on the right hand side, because equal to zero. 
But if I take this on the right hand side, I will have f dash y is equal to lambda g dash y. But if I divide and I cancel out lambda, what will I get? f dash x by f dash y is equal to g dash x by g dash y. Ye kya tha? What was this? Slope of the objective function z. Ye kya tha? Slope of constraint. Dono kya ho rahe well, Isn't it the same condition? Or yahan se jo mera answer aaya tha, it had to satisfy the constraint. Same thing here also. Ek hi baat ho rahi hai. Alag alag cheezo se ho rahi hai. So when here what do you do? You will combine 1, 2 and 3 and solve for x, y and z. But I will do the same question that I did earlier. But I will do it through the method of Lagrange. Clear or ye baat? Let's make a Lagrange. So how will I write Lagrange? Write the objective function. Minus put lambda. And here put this function. So isko I can rewrite this as 2x plus y minus m is equal to 0. Differentiate this with respect to x. So y is a constant minus lambda is a constant 2x ka differentiation will be 2 yahan pe sirf y aa raha y ka differentiation 0 m ka differentiation 0 and equate it to 0 so what will you get you will get y minus 2 lambda equal to 0 so y is equal to 2 lambda ye mere equation number 1 ho gayi now beta i will differentiate this with respect to y so just do that del L by del y. Now, beta x is a constant. Differentiation of y is 1. Minus lambda. Differentiation of 2x will be 0. Plus differentiation of y is 1. Minus differentiation of m is 0. So, x minus lambda is 0. So, x will be equal to lambda. So, beta, ye hoga equation number 1. Equation number 2. Third equation, kya hoja ki, beta? Differentiate with respect to lambda. So, yahan pe to koi lambda nahi aara. Differentiation of lambda will be minus 1. So, 2x plus y minus m equal to 0. So, but when you will solve this part, what will you get exactly? You will get that 2x plus y should be equal to m. That's the constraint. Hai na? Achha, <clears throat> now, just think about it, beta. y is 2 times lambda. So, instead of y, I can put 2 lambda. x is lambda. So, instead of x, I can put lambda equal to m. So, I will get 4 lambda as m. So, lambda will be m by 4. x was equal to lambda, na? so x will be m by 4. y was 2 times lambda. So, 2 times m by 4. So, m by 2. Wasn't this the same answer you were getting above m by 2? y ka value and x ka value m by 4. Yes, we were getting exactly the same answer. So, even Lagrange can help you solve the same answer. Achha, many times what I prefer to do in other cases is, but uh, you can always divide equation 1 and 2. Dekho, the answer is up. So, if you just look above, when you differentiate it with respect to x, you got y is equal to 2 lambda. Yahan pe you got x is equal to lambda. You can also differentiate y is equal to 2 lambda, x is equal to lambda, in those equations ko na divide kar do. Sorry, not differentiate, divide. So, when you divide these two equations, you will get y by x is equal to 2. So, y is equal to 2x. Now, you have got y as a function of x. Isko constraint mein dal do. Constraint was 2x plus y is equal to m. y is 2 times x. So, 2x plus 2x is equal to m. 4x is equal to m. So, x will be m by 4. So, you can also divide equation 1 and 2. Ye equation and ye equation. Eliminate lambda. Lambda hat jayega. Then you can get y as a function of x and solve. Okay, beta. Okay.